Thank you very much. I want, to I want to announce this afternoon that I'm not running for the U.S. Senate. I do want to thank all of you for joining us here uh, today. We genuinely appreciate your participating in this year's event, a fancy farm uh, picnic. You know, soon after President Obama was elected, he and Harry Reid had a meeting in the U.S. Capitol, and they met with a group of reporters, and they announced that they were going to change America. Now, after six and a half years, it's crystal clear that the way they're changing America is the wrong way. You know, in fact, they just had a recent poll, and 58% of the people that were polled said that they thought the Obama administration was incompetent to govern at all. And 52% of them said that they were disappointed and disapproved of Barack Obama. Now, we're not surprised that the American people are fed up with Barack Obama and Harry Reid. The debt has increased by $8 trillion since Obama's been president. And I might add, between George Washington and George H.W. Bush, the debt was $10 trillion. Obama's almost triple, doubled it just in his administration. We have, fifth, we have 14 million more people on food stamps today than when Obama became president. Gas prices have gone from $1.89 a gallon to $3.80 a gallon. Today, four million people are not employed who had full-time jobs four years ago. <laughs> President Obama is dismantling our immigration laws by executive order. <laughs> Eric Holder has filed lawsuits against the states of Texas, Florida, Arizona, Utah, and others because they're trying to arrest people who are in this country illegally. Eric Holder is also filing lawsuits against the states of Texas, North Carolina, and Florida because they want to require an ID in order to vote. And what about Lois Lerner? The IRS has systematically harassed organizations that it does not agree with philosophically. Now, you know, President Obama went around the country when he was trying to pass Obamacare, and he said he was going to reduce your premiums $2,500 a year. He said if you liked your health insurance, you could keep it. He said if you liked your physician, you could keep him or her. We know today that that is not true. He lied to the American people. And his EPA is finalizing a rule that will make America one of the only countries in the world where you cannot build a new coal-fired plant in America. And he's not satisfied with that. He's now coming out with a regulation on existing coal-fired plants. And as a matter of fact, I have in my hand the, from the EPA's proposed regulation, they identify 15 electric generating plants in Kentucky that they expect to close down because of their new regulation. And what about Arch Resources, who announced two days ago they were closing down eight coal mines, they were shutting down 1,100 coal miner jobs in the areas that they serve. So it's quite clear we're moving in the wrong direction. Not only is it bad for coal industry, but it makes us less competitive in the global marketplace because coal still provides 43% of the electricity in America. And even though, even though President Obama's 
providing millions of dollars to his wealthy supporters for green energy, we can't build enough windmills and solar plants to produce the electricity that this country needs. So we've passed 73 laws to stop this on the House. Harry Reid won't take it up in the Senate. Now, six weeks ago, six weeks ago, Harry Reid had a big fundraiser for Allison Grimes in Washington, D.C. And when the reporters, when the reporters asked him why is he supporting Allison Grimes, he said, because we need her help to get the Obama's projects through the United States Senate. So I'm telling you today, we need to re-elect Mitch McConnell to U.S. Senate, Majority Leader of the U.S. Senate. We need to stop Barack Obama and stop Harry Reid. And when you go to the polls to vote for Mitch McConnell, I would ask you to vote for me to be re-elected to the Congress because I do not want Nancy.